This is Jen Chow. She grew up here in the New York area, Jewish and Chinese. Because of her mixed racial background, her childhood was not always easy. She has set up a site, swirlinc.org, for people who are involved in interracial dating or marital situations or for those whose parents were of different races. Welcome. So how tough was your childhood? I think that the biggest um, part of growing up biracial for me was just this feeling that I always kind of had to go between the two different cultures, never mm -hmm. feeling as a young person that I could really be both at the same time. And I think in the 70s, it, it was very different than now where there are so many resources. It is a public conversation. There's language to talk about it. It really wasn't discussed. You also have... Uh parties, get-togethers for people mm -hmm. who are in your situation. What are the kind of the stories that they tell you? Um, it's, it's, a great, it's a great group of people. We it's have, a swirl. Yes, swirl. Um, we great have name, families. Thank you. We have families. We have kids. We have interracial couples. We have transracial adoptees. Uh, for example, there was one event where a gentleman, probably in his late 50s, early 60s, said, said to another member who then relayed the story to me, you know, this is the first time I feel like I'm at home. Mm. So I think for a lot of people, they have not felt community. They haven't been around other people like them, um, where they can talk about their experiences. They know that people can relate to them. It's kind of like everyone's in their own kind of separate worlds, where you don't necessarily run into a lot of people in your day-to-day -day life who have similar experiences.